Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're going from the light zone to the power zone. You'll notice it starts you off with maximum everything. This, I have a really hard time paying attention on this stage to pretty much everything at once because the bomb blasts reach across to the other side of the screen. That kind of screws me if I don't have my eyes on everything at once like that. <laughs> So this stage is my weakness. It is the bane of my existence. What is Black Bomber doing there? It almost got itself killed because it didn't move around the corner. Yeah, the AI, definitely not as good as I remember, even though I, I made a pretty dumb mistake there myself. <laughs> but oh well, we all make mistakes, but they seem to make consistently odd, glitchy-like mistakes, like that right there. Why didn't Red Bomber move? I don't know. It, but it really begged the question. <laughs> anyway, next one, let's go. I'm back in the game as a non-sports commentator. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't referring to that other joke that I made that I, I'm, you know, and I don't play. I, I should say when I die and I'm just watching the other computers play, I end up just being like a sports commentator watching other of them playing either post commentary or uh, live commentary. You get the idea. Hey, if Madden can do it, anyone can do it. <laughs> um, oh shoot, he just dropped a bomb right on top of me. and I, I, was, I was attempting to drop a bomb right where he was going to drop a bomb. Alright, this is a rather open play field, so needless to say, these matches can be very drawn out, if not impossible, to win at times. But that's... It's, it's the fact that you can, you know, have bombs go across the screen and even have power-ups like that straight from the start. That's the gimmick of this. And... Whoa, maybe I should... Oh, jeez! Maybe what I should try doing is... Like, kicking a bomb over to the computers and having it explode as they're ducking around the corner. Maybe that's what I should be trying to do, because as I said before, the computer AI pretty dumb and would probably fall for something like that based on, you know, how it just stands in one place until all bombs in a range blow up. What is that blue one? Come on, man. <laughs> well, so I guess that's a strategy I recommend you to, you to do there. But anyway, Black Bomber gets another victory. <clears throat> And that's enough of that. <laughs> uh, what's next? The warp zone. I believe these warps here have a certain order that they pop you out of. I think. I'm gonna have to pay attention to that or try it myself as I go. Uh, why did I drop a bomb there? <laughs> that is not a wall, PK Gam. Oh, boxing glove. Oh, maximum fire just got blown up. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, there's another one. <laughs> the argument is now invalid. <laughs> well, that wasn't really much of an argument, but it was more of like a sadness or a despair. The despair is now not valid. Oh, jeez. There's a lot of special power-ups in this one. Actually, I'm going to kick that across. Uh, yeah, that would work on the computers for sure if you were to time your kicks to go across the screen like that. But I got to time it better. Alright, I'm gonna try it for this stage, just because I can. Don't touch me! <laughs> I explained to you before that I do not like germs, and I do not appreciate your contagious infection all over me. Uh, nope, nope, ain't gonna happen. Nope. Oh, that was uh, great, actually. Oh, jeez. And that blue one just went in the totally wrong direction that it was supposed to go. It, it tried to walk towards my bomb. I, I have no idea how that worked. How it even came to the conclusion of moving like that. Okay, let's let's try these out now. Okay, that one leads to the middle one. The middle one leads to corner. Corner leads well that corner. Oh! <laughs> so I'm assuming that one goes to the upper right corner. Then I'm hoping. I'm gonna try the left, I mean the upper left one, and see if it takes me to the middle one again, like right off the bat. Okay, I'm going here, will it take me to the middle? No, it doesn't. Where will this one take me? Will it take me to the bottom left? No, it is completely random. Okay, so that makes it a lot more interesting than I thought. <laughs> so those warps do take you to different places each time. Alright. 
we know that now, and we can't really take advantage of it. <laughs> oh, dang you, dud! I don't have another- oh, there we go. I was gonna say, I don't have another bomb to be able to drop a second bomb either. Maybe I should go blast my bomb up there. Oh, super slow speed. I can use that to my advantage. Eh, eh. Nope, I'm going hide. Because <laughs> that would have been a catastrophe otherwise. Uh, maybe what I should do is wait for the bombs to almost explode and then attempt to drop myself into a, a warp. Because then what will happen is that I will, you know, be out of the range of the bomb blast timing. Alright, let's see if I can get myself another victory and the match. Oh yeah. Oh no 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 no! Oh, they could have killed themselves and I failed because I blasted the wall! No! I could have taken care of two of them, but no! I had to aggressively blast the wall, what is wrong with me? <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> My timing was off there. And now I must hope for the red one to win, otherwise this match is over. <laughs> Although that would make this go a little bit quicker. Because as I said, I'm just doing these battle mode stages just to show off the poopers. Yes, the battle mode stages I am now referring to as poopers, just because I can. <laughs> yeah, those things are definitely random. And I definitely appreciate a little bit of random at times. <laughs> I mean, come on! Who, this is this is the kind of person you're talking about here, or or I'm talking about here. <laughs> oh, oh, orange is gonna mess up. Oh, oh. come on! Oh, it's red one, red one, not orange. But it looks so orange, or at least it does to me. <laughs> oh, and I also forgot to mention when those walls roll over, uh, soft blocks or bombs, it automatically just phases them out of existence. They don't even blow up or anything. So that's another factor that you have to take take into account with those automatic blocks. Yeah! <laughs> that was like a combined yay plus yeah there. So the battle wages on. Boop. And I start once again. Even though I didn't have to say that in the slightest. By the way, if you want to be as efficient as possible with your bombs, what you want to do is drop uh, a bomb as the other one is about to explode even if you're around the corner like something like that because what will happen is that you'll maximize the efficiency of your explosions and you'll be able to blast out items faster um, like if I were to drop a bomb there and I duck around the corner if I were to plop one there right afterwards before uh, the other one explodes, they'll they'll explode in that timing, and that's kind of risky, but if I wait a second or two, why did I do that? I noticed I had maximum firepower, but I forgot all about my bomb. <laughs> ah, all right, Black Bomber. I'm rooting for you to keep this match going. Yeah! It's one all. Cha-ching! Winner of this game takes it all. Doki Doki. <laughs> oh, maximum firepower. This might be good, it might be bad, I don't know. I'm, I'm apparently terrible at paying attention. <laughs> uh, I should have waited for the blue to, uh, like, stay around that corner and then put a bomb. No, 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 I can't do that. I don't know their firepower yet. <laughs> um, because of the fact that uh, I would have I made it move over to the side into the other bl bomb blasts. Because they would panic. Oh no! Please don't be the one that makes me drop bombs. Oh, okay. <laughs> it just makes me go super fast. There's a, there's a there's two kinds of speed up uh, skull powers. Is that there's one that makes you um, go super fast and drop bombs, and then there's one that just makes you go super fast. This is the one that just makes you go super fast, which isn't all that bad. Although the computers are really really good at playing at high speed. All right, it's coming down to the wire, baby. And that could have killed the black bomber because of the way that it went into the portal a little bit too. Well, I need to keep it around the edge. Yes, now for you, black bomber. Oh shoot! No, 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 no! I did not mean to do that. Oh my! Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah! Okay, that was way too much enthusiasm there. <laughs> But that was a pretty epic match, I have to say. V
victory skipping because I don't care about the victory screen anymore. Stage 12. I think this is the last one. Yep. Let's go. And it takes place in Diamond City and needless to say, it's just like having the speed up power of the skull item, if you want to even call it an item. <laughs> uh, you can actually get speed up powers from the skull that react just like this, so it, it'll, it may be like having absolutely no effect from the skull at all, but you know, you're actually being affected by the skull, but since you're already at maximum speed, the skull doesn't even affect you in that way sometimes. But, you know, that is one power out of many. Now, as I said before, hiccup, excuse me, the computers are incredibly good at playing at high speeds. However, I am not. <laughs> as I was saying, I am not. I got blown up. And that should show you exactly why I'm not good at high speeds. It's just that it's so twitchy. Oh wow, draw. Didn't expect that, but that works in my favor, I suppose. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've seen the draw screen. Actually, we didn't see the draw screen that many times, but we've seen it once. That's good enough for me. <laughs> at this point, we can keep going. We don't have to show more of it. Well, I guess I could have if I wanted to, but we don't have to. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, no. I'm going to use the remote control. Ah, uh, still twitchy. I refuse to lose my advantage. Now, if I were to drop a bomb there, would, would the red bomber just, like, stay there and do nothing? Oh, if I kick a bomb into items, it won't actually uh, destroy the items in this game, but it does do that in other Bomberman games, so you may have to look out for that. Ah, no, no. <laughs> oh, poopers. Oh, poopers. Oh, poopers. <laughs> Let's go! Super hyper caffeine coffee time. That's how I feel about this stage. I mean, seriously, look how fast you go. <laughs> this is ridiculous. But so much fun. Oh, I don't want to touch that. I really don't want to touch that. That could be a catastrophe. Who killed himself? I don't... Oh, it was blue. Okay, that works. That works for me, I suppose. Oh! I was hoping... I mean, I was... Hoping that the black bomber wouldn't trap me. I was gonna say it was gonna like that. Oh, you sneaky snake! You trapped me. You did a very good job. You played your part well. <laughs> I almost got out of there. I almost stuck there on the corner, but alas, it was not meant to be. <laughs> All right. After this match, there's a few cheat codes that I'm gonna be going over and showing you. Uh, well, not cheat code. Well, there's one cheat code, and then there, there's a few secrets uh, in the story mode that I'll go over while I'm demonstrating the cheat code that I'm going to be showing off. And that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing for this walkthrough, then. This is a really short walkthrough. I, w I thought about doing, like, this as a walkthrough movie, because as I said before, I do walkthrough movies of really short games. Uh, rather than having a split in multiple parts, but after calculating how long I, uh, you know, how, I, how long I estimated it would take me to do, I was just like, nah, I probably shouldn't, because this is going to be over an hour, and that's going to take forever to upload. It might be impossible to upload because of YouTube's file size limit thingy with the uploader that I use. Whoa, I almost ran myself right into the bomb blast. That could have been a catastrophe. Oh, jeez. Oh, my. This is coming down to the wire. Don't touch me, Black Bomber. Do not touch... You touch me. I don't know where I am, and that could be terrible. I won. I can't believe I won. <laughs> Woo! I, I'm so surprised, yet so happy. So very, very happy. <laughs> All right, continuing on. If any of us, except for the blue bomber, get a ma oh no! If any of us get a victory, the game is over. And that could be a catat. Where am I? I have no idea where I am. Oh, there I am. <laughs> See, that's another thing about the speed zone and why I don't want the invisible power up, because I just can't tell where I am, and it's it's so twitchy. It's so hard to tell when you're moving so fast where you land. <laughs> Alright. 
Uh, you know what? I'm going to sort of cheese this a little bit. Watch this. I, or at least I think I can cheese this. If I... If I get into a corner, I think what'll happen is... I can get it to stay... Whoops! <laughs> I can get it to stay in the corner and then just let it get squished by the blocks. And now when I blow myself up by accidentally hitting the detonate button... Again... <laughs> well, that's okay. Alright, how do I... Leave the battle mode? I don't know. I don't think I can without resetting the game. <laughs> so, yeah, that works for me. Whoa! Okay, let's go to the password. Let's show them off. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Any day for the cursor? Thank you! If you put in 5656... I have to actually have to press the E button, okay. <laughs> wait, wait, how many numbers? Oh, it only goes up to seven, okay. So it would be more efficient to go like that. Correct! Now, what'll happen is that you'll have tiny bombers. I'll, sh I'll play one match. This will work in both story mode as well as the uh, battle mode. I'll just do that regular stage one here. And look how cute we are! Oh, <laughs> This code is ridiculous. Okay, while I'm playing this last battle here, I'm going to explain, I mean, I'm going to tell you a few little secrets here that you might not have already, that you might not already know. Um, in World 1-2 in the story mode, if you blast the goal, yeah, one of the few stages that you actually blast the goal if you want to try it, yeah, you'll actually get an ice cream cone item, which gives you points. I, I don't know why they put that there, but it is there. <laughs> Um, if on 2-7, if you have the boxing glove and you repeatedly press the Y button, what'll happen is that you'll get a little heart. And you'll be able to have... Haha, I trapped you. <laughs> um, this does not affect gameplay, by the way. This mini bomber thing here, it just makes them look super cute. Anyway, uh, so that li a little extra heart that you can get in the story mode will give you a little bit of an advantage. I could, probably could have used that in my walkthrough, you know, rather than dying. <laughs> but alas, I didn't... I just decided to play it, you know, straight out because, I, as I said before, I don't really like to use cheats when playing a game, and I sort of consider that a cheat because of the fact that you wouldn't otherwise know something like that in normal gameplay. Anyway, in 3-7, uh, if you hit the ex exit with an explosion, yeah, another one, you'll also make a heart appear. And in 6-ow, <laughs> in 6-7, if you pause the game, a heart will appear. See, how is anyone supposed to know that unless they accidentally come across it or something like that? That's why I consider it more of a cheat than, you know, an actual secret that I would consider using for an actual game. You know, the actual um, walkthrough, I should say. So that's why I'm telling you the cheats now. And that's pretty much it. This game is going to end in a draw. <laughs> you know what? I'll continue on just a little bit more. I'll, I'll just finish this match here because it ended up in a draw. I mean, it's just like, why not? Cam Studio can keep going. <laughs> I can record longer than uh, 15 minutes with Cam Studio safely, I think. <laughs> Especially when there's not anything moving. Like, the, um, the file size goes up, the more movement there is on the screen. Because, you know, it has to keep track of more things at once. So the file sizes of the- oh, I can trap myself because of that dang automatic drop thing with the bomb skull thing. You get the idea. <laughs> so anyway, the file sizes of these parts have been very small because there's not all that much movement on the screen. And that's why I've been able to do longer parts. Uh, despite what I thought initially. <laughs> well, that's fine. That works great for me because that means no corrupt parts. Alright, who's gonna be the victor? Red or black? You decide. Well, actually, your decision will have absolutely no effect on the gameplay because of the fact that this is the computers battling it out and this part will be up before you make your decision. <laughs> All right, 53 seconds left. Sports commentator PK Gam is in the his house. 
I do not need to be commentating over this whatsoever. As a matter of fact, this walkthrough could have ended already because there's nothing more that I can tell you. <laughs> I, I told you about all the game secrets. Black Bomber is the winner! Did I sound good? Could I be a sports announcer? I don't know. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough, and I will see you in the next walkthrough. Victory! But it's not for me. Aww.